Motivation is not coercion, domination or manipulation. When trying to motivate your spouse, be careful not to appear to drive or push them. How do you ensure you motivate your spouse without making them feel coerced? Stay tuned to find out in today's episode of the Marriage Classroom. Now, good evening, uh, Marriage Classroom. Amen. Yes, again we meet for the class and where we never stop learning because we keep improving ourselves as we grow. Now, today we are going to have a lesson as we continue with the alphabet of marriage. We have done up to L. So we are going to letter M. And now that we have been learning and continued, one of our students who have been very consistent in class, I believe among those who scored even 10, 10, 10 out of 10, 100% uh, in the know your spouse, George, Pastor George Karanja is our teacher today. And I sit here at the back as an assessor <laughs> or to see how our students are learning. I also believe that we are learning whether we are here or at home. And one of these days, even you as a viewer, you can come and also be part of this class. Welcome. So let's welcome Mwalim Waleo. Yes, George Karanja. Karibu. Thank you so much for this opportunity uh, to share in this lesson today. I believe that uh, viewers, you are all kept there at home, and we are continuing to learn together. Uh, today, we are going to see uh, uh, alphabet M, alphabet M. So we are looking at marriage uh, alphabets. <coughs> And I believe that uh, today we are going to see alphabet M. So what can we use as an action verb uh, for alphabet M? Examples of uh, action verbs. Yes, Jacinta. Motivate. Motivate, thank you. Motivate, another one. Yes. Maintain. Maintain, thank you. Make. Yes, we have quite many. Make. Make. <coughs> thank you. Meet. Meet. Yes, faith. Meet. 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 Meeting. All right. M M E. M double E T. M double E T. Uh, Pastor Samuel. Mold. Mold. Yes, another one. Uh, Abraham. Mentor. Mentor. Thank you very much. Another one. Least but not last. All right. These are some of the action verbs that we derive from our alpha marriage alphabet M that are so helpful in uh, learning our marriages. As we said that we are here to learn so that we can make our marriages better and that we may make our marriages a place to enjoy, not enjoy. enjoy. And therefore, I want us to concentrate on one of them that is motivate. Motivate. And uh, when we are looking at motivate, uh, we are simply, who can give us the meaning of motivate as an action verb? Meaning of motivate. Motivate. What do we mean by motivating? Because we say that I am motivated. I am motivated. So, Pastor Abraham. Yeah, to use the word motivate, uh, perhaps somebody is doing something. Yes. And you want that person to continue doing the same thing. So, you encourage her by saying something or doing something. That is what you do in motivating. So, encouraging to continue in the course. Yes. Or to to encourage to continue doing what that person was doing. Uh, thank you. That is one of them. Yes. I think energize. Energize. Oh, thank you. That is a good one. Mm -hmm. Energize. So when this person or when a sp when your spouse is doing something and uh, maybe from maybe even a point of weakness or a, a weaker point, then you energize. You cause this person to feel stronger and better as he continues or she continues. Thank you. Jacinta? I think 
fanning kama kupepetea fanning kupepeta mm-hmm. the bible says that fan your your yes. gift so this fanning the fire some or, or most of the time the fire does not fan itself mm-hmm. are we together now yes. the fire does not fan itself kwa hivyo kama moto umewaka si unahitaji mtu akupepeta so unapepeta mwenzako in marriage so that they can continue improving and becoming better in whatever thing they are doing yes another meaning of motivate yes grace you star ukoroga star, right. so you star so you start something that is already maybe settled and has not started maybe boiling and has not started taking ac- uh, action uh, so you start so that you can you can you can make it whatever you need it to be let us have the last the last uh, the last one from our sister maggie i wanted to stay star oh you wanted to stay star okay. all right let let, let 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 me say this that to motivate is to provide a person or someone with a reason an incest, incentive for doing something provide a person with a reason so even my viewers back at home uh, as a married couple you need to provide your spouse if it is your husband if it is your wife with a reason to continue doing something because if they feel that in whatever thing they want to do there is no reason that is driving them they may they may they may shy off from doing it or they may hold their ability towards that thing all right yes. then another one another another definition is to cause someone to behave in a particular way and uh, it must be understood that when we say that causing somebody to behave in a particular way we don't mean coercion we don't mean uh, uh, taking the all dominating we don't mean manipulation mm-hmm. are we together now yes. so it is not a coercion because a coercion ni kama kurazimisha kwa razima that you must do this kama ni 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 ni, ni services nyumbani that you cause your wife to wash clothes so unasimama ukiwa mume you make a lot of noise you say that kama hautakuwa umefua then nisikupate hapa so that is not a motivation are we together now yes. that is a, a coercion because you 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 are causing or you are you are you are uh, you are you are making this person do something maybe that is good and that is of value addition to the marriage but the way that you are doing that person do it is the wrong uh, is the wrong way then we have uh, number 3 uh, meaning is to cause and uh, uh, enthusiasm mm-hmm. or make someone want to achieve something and make them willing to work hard in order to achieve it you know causing uh, uh, this person to be enthusiastic about whatever thing they want to do they may be starting maybe something a husband may be willing maybe to buy a car uh, back at home or buy maybe a plot or build and this person uh, uh, anatiwa ana moto ni ile kutia inaitwa motisha mm-hmm. eh kumtia nini motisha, motisha. ili aweze kufanya kile kitu na akifanye kwa uwezo wake wote na pia if this person has started from a point of weakness because sometimes he may start from a point of weakness he want to buy a car worth half a million and he has started saving uh, he has started saving 10000 every month usimvuje moyo kumwambia ai nusu milioni sioni ni mbali nusu milioni ni mbali ni mbali so i don't think that uh, that is the right thing to do and uh, this word was that there was mtu mwingine alivujwa moyo alikuwa na pika chapati Yes. Sasa anaulizwa hiyo chapati pesa itatosha ya dawa ali itatonya lini ya dawa ali. Unajua? Na alikuwa na amejikagamua na uza you know what you call baradhira bili ya ya uga in a day na amepika. Hiyo unajua ni jasho kubwa mimi no kujitolea. Lakini yule ana mke anamwambia mimi the, the spouse. Sasa hii hata kama ni hii pesa ya chapati itatosha lini ya dawa ali. 
Yes. That's so sad. Yes. That's a sad yes. case. Yes. All right. Now, let me let us come to something else. How do you motivate? Mm -hmm. Or what are some of the ways that you can use uh, even our viewer back at home to motivate your spouse? What are some of these ways? Yes. I think sometimes it's simply to verbalize appreciation. Mm -hmm. Somebody has done something, so you, you just say thank you, or you're doing fine, uh, encourage verbally. So verbalize the, 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 uh, verbalize the appreciation, or um, give a statement of the fact that you agree with this person, whatever he or she is doing. Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a powerful one. So what, number one is verbalize. Make it known by a word of mouth. Yes. Are we together now? Yes. So you encourage by a word of mouth because uh, you may be for it, but before you say you are for it, it appears that you are against it. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you have ever noted that even back at home. That you may be for something or you may be supporting an issue or a certain project, but until you verbalize it, until you say that, oh, this is good, you will make it continue, the, the, you, you, can, you can achieve it. I, I think that is very, very powerful. Another one. So verbalize. Um, I don't know whether that is the right the right. Support. Thing. Yes. Another one is support. Support? Uh, you support it by this. Let's say when you buy a car for the two million and uh, I want to help him. I maybe I can I am saying a kweka mafuta for sikuya kwanza. So uh -huh. na msaidia niko ama tuseme na pick na anataka ku, kujenga yes. na anajenga nyumba ya ya 1 tuseme 5 500 yes. si kama niko na 1300 at least hata kama utanunua utanunua hata kama ni babati moja yes uh, yes i i think uh, to add on what she has said it is very important or it is a, a way of motivation supporting the vision because you may, you may not uh, be in a position maybe to do something that is so big, mm -hmm. but that small thing, like in a sea complain at the oi, kikigali, ulireta ki, ki kunye mafuta, ata ki me kunye paka pesa mafuta ya nyere yangu. <laughs> no, that, that's not a motivation. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. Grace. Mi ended ni rudi tu hapo kwa gari, my spouse anaweza akanunua gari, na niwe sina pesa za kumwekea mafuta lakini wakati yamekuja nyumbani nikiangalia gari ninaona linafaa kuoshwa natoka na bucket na maji na liosha mpaka yeye mwenyewe akiliangalia anasema na kweli hili gari si kununua tu hivyo limekubalika nyumbani limekubalika i think that is a good motivation yes. all right another one yes pastor abraham yeah. uh, another way of motivation you can render a small token of appreciation amekufanyia kitu mzuri enda huko nje kuja hata kama nika kitu ka umenunua na pesa yako mwambie thank you darling uh -huh. yeah. mm. so th that one takes us to gifts mm. uh, which is a uh, which is also very very important in motivation and as we said maybe during the other sessions is that uh, gifts motivate mm -hmm. they communicate they have a way that is non verbal mm -hmm. of communicating yes. that oh I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. So, Leah. You can motivate by um, um, recognizing and appreciating each one's role in the house. For example, if uh, your husband pays the rent, you can even text him one of the days and tell him, thank you for always making sure that our rent is paid for. Thank you for paying the school fees. And the same can apply to you. Thank you for always taking care of us. Thank you for, for giving me children, for, uh, for giving birth to our children. Like, no, the, the appreciation is a motivator because when somebody recognizes the, the things that you do, it motivates. The same applies, okay, to children. As a child, even as you bring up your, child, your children in marriage, teach them to appreciate. Your children can even text the father and tell, and tell him, thank you for always paying our school fees. So the appreciation is a motivator. All right, so that is so good. Another one, 
uh, I would want to Jacinta, say yes. some services, uh, an added service you can do. For example, Pastor Grace has said, unaweza msaidia kuosha gari. Nyingine ni if kama for example my husband is a pastor, kumbebe yo Bible. I appreciate na notebook. Yes. I that service. I appreciate what you do. Yes. All right. That's all good. I think there are quite many. Yes, please. So adding on to service and even spending quality time because even he come and me fungwa biashara to motivate me, he can come and spend time with me in that business just to motivate me before at a business he catch up. Oh yes. <laughs> before I, I the customer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think I think it's, it's a way of motivation because you may start maybe a, a business uh, or like uh, uh, let me use my brother because uh, of of maybe you are vying for a certain seat and in all your campaign meetings the wife has, ne has never appeared so appear so it seems like you are walking alone without the other person. But I think when Kwata Wakat Nona Wanasiasa Mukewake Akopare Akirauchiare Maono, it is a way of motivating that 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 husband. Yes. Yes, I, I, I wanted to say, and now that you have mentioned that, huh, I wanted to pray say pray for the, the your spouse. Uh -huh. As they do everything, a way of motivating them oh, yes. is pray with that with him or pray with her. And uh, I must say that in my journey of uh, contesting for the Senate, I have received a lot yes. from my wife, especially in the area of prayer. Yes. And not only that, even in the past, praying for somebody um, when they are engaging, even if it is construction, it has a lot of problems. Those of us who have done that, pray for that particular person when he's going for the hardware, going for look for material. If it is that car, and he has said that I'm going to buy that car, Pray that he gets the right kind of car. Amba haita musumbua, haita mudumisha kwa garage yes. uh, every now and then. I think prayer is something that is very critical. Oh yes, uh, let, let us have Pastor Samuel. Uh, yes, uh, I think number one is appreciating someone's effort, acknowledging uh, their effort, and also um, showing them that they are much more important. Sometimes uh, your spouse may make a mistake. And instead of you going harshly on him or her, telling him why, okay, why are you doing this? This is not good. Okay, you try to motivate her by telling her, you know what, this is not good. And you encourage her by doing something much more better. Showing her that she's much more worth than the, and she can do much more better. She feels motivated and she feels that she can be uh, more than that. All right. So what, what Pastor Samuel is elaborating is... Uh, positive correction yes because we may be building or i may a husband may be building or a wife may be taking about maybe a certain business or maybe bringing up children but uh, when that person is corrected with love there is something else that we cannot leave behind correction by love then that person feels motivated that the spouse would not wish this person to continue in the wrong direction and end up in destruction the bible says that there are ways that seems right before the eyes of men yes. but they are end mwisho wake ni wapi ni kwa destruction so if you correct me or if a husband corrects a wife or if a wife corrects a husband but of course being very positive and with love mm -hmm. as you correct there is need to to correct and give a solution yes. not just uh, castigating Eh, oh, hujafanya hii, hii umefanya vibaya Lakini hujasema, hiyo unasema vizuri ni nini Maybe, maybe uh, this, this would be bring us eh, yes. to the story of Lord Egerton Now that uh, we are based in Akuru yes. Lord Egerton builds a nice house Those of us who have been there And brings in the, the, the fiancé The fiancé looks at that house And says that it looks like a chicken house and uh, she, she, she boats out and goes back to Britain. So Lord Egerton decided to go and build a massive castle, a very massive. But by the time that he went back to, uh, uh, to Britain, he actually found that the lady had already been married by somebody else and they, she, they had migrated to Australia. <coughs> and that made him never marry. 
never marry again and even he never wanted to meet any any, any woman anywhere yes. so basically that means therefore that hiyo roho ya huyo mtu ilivunjwa mm. kwa sababu effort zake hazikuwa appreciated he was demotivated he was demotivated yes. and that, that means therefore even though it were, had not reached into the part of marriage it, 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 she was still a fiance mm. she, he decided ikiwa ni namna hii acha nikae and even in marriage wako hivi. even in marriage uh-huh. somebody anaweza kuwa <laughs> anaweza kuweza kuwa mbiwa neno mbaya that positive correction yes. anaweza mbiwa something so negative effort yake yote na kila kitu aachane nayo hii kitu aseme wasi wasi waacha ikae so, i'm not good enough so there is always good uh, uh, there is always need even as we correct as part of motivation to choose our words yes. to choose our words usiambie mtu sasa hii hizi ni chapati umepika zinakaaje zinakaa mapu ya South Sudan <laughs> no that person is demotivated yes. but if you tell them that i think if you do it this way if you do it this way then they will have a good a good yes. ship na kupika chapati azitoshani moja ina iko hivi hata wageni wanaona kama kuna kuna ubaguzi mwingine amewekewa zile kubwa mwingine amewekewa ile ile kidogo so i think motivation is something that we cannot uh, actually exhaust uh, let me have constance at least say something another way of motivating your spouse your spouse is uh, you t- if he's doing something like uh, he's doing a business you can go and uh, tell other people like your friends to tell another friend or friend of a friend yes uh, you become Uh, what we say that uh, you tell a friend to tell a friend you become a marketer mm. of the same mm. uh, i think it is also very important to do marketing of your spouse mm. because let us use sa- sa- those words you do marketing, marketing. Mm. that even when we are at home like uh, myself i'm used to tell people that uh, i did not only marry a wife but i married a chef ukikura wow. chakula ambacho amepika i think as clear yes mm-hmm. it is properly done wow. so and i normally tell people that myself my wife is not a joke akifika chakula hata kama ulikuwa haukuli hapa itaitilikuwa iko mbali kiasi gani you will still eat it is good to uh, motivate your spouse by giving a good report of them because most of uh, most of uh, most people in marriages we concentrate tuna concentrate na kile kibaya Like it is very easy to go tell people vile mume wako hana akili vile hafikiri vizuri vile muke sijui anakaa nini mm. but what about that good report yes the bible says and uh, i i i i uh, will just cite as an example the bible says uh, and this is david saying that i was so happy i was glad when they told me to go to the house of god so he did not take himself mm. he was motivated by others to go to the house of god so there must be a good report ambayo ilikuwa ime imeenezwa you know he could not join people that are giving a bad report concerning the church so he says that i was glad when they told me to go to the house of god and likewise in marriage even back at home we need to give a very good report of our spouses let me cite this uh, uh, you can make your spouse uh, willing you can make them willing to achieve uh, more by doing the following you can make your spouse willing to do more and to do much and to do better whether it is in upbringing of your children in uh, serving you as a as a spouse maybe a husband or a wife and even in business and such kind of things by doing the following number one, assure them of your unconditional love and acceptance assure them of your unconditional love and acceptance no matter what they have or they have done assure them wapatie wapatie wahimize give them an assurance that uh, if they are taking maybe a project that i am with you you shall make it are we together now then number two, uh, do not keep reminding them of the past mistakes do not keep reminding them of the past mistakes for none of us is perfect so usikae ukimkumbusha it is it demotivates to remind them of where they failed they may have failed yes 
but reminding them uh, revives. It arouses that feeling of failure. It, it arouses that feeling of inability. So, don't remind them of where they failed. Usiwe unamkumbusha, unakumbuka hile ujiulipika ikawa na hile, wanaitwa nini? Hile boys. Hile <laughs> yeah, boys. Eh? So, don't remind them. Number three, acknowledge their past accomplishment. However little, however small, however minute, just acknowledge that yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. They may not be able to pay rent today, but kindly remind them of when they paid. Are we together now? Yes. It is a way of motivating them, reminding them of the way they did it. Kama nguo hajanunua sasa, remind them that, oh, I remember those days that you took me to a boutique and bought me some, some dresses and a suit and such kind of a thing. It motivates. Then, the way you put it, the way you put it, uta, uta congratulate that, oh, I remember those days. As you also encourage them on the current circumstance and situation, that do, don't worry. If you are unable to provide for my hair, don't worry. I remember those days that you provided. Yes. It is a motivation. Then, uh, point out their strength. Point out their strength. Appreciate their strong point. Usi concentrate na kire tumesema yare maovu. Oh, hau chakura kinapita chumvi. Lakini hau jaona kilikuwa kimekaangwa vizuri. Ni chumvi tu imepita. So concentrate on these soft chapatis that have no shape. Concentrate on the softness. Are we together now? Concentrate on that good part and it shall be okay. Offer your unwaving support. Offer your unwaving support and help uh, where necessary. Support them. Kama ameanza biashara kutengeneza juice, enda pare ukunyue viko grasi tatu. Kama inaweze kama. At least, unajua kazo manikazo na ulipe. All right. <laughs> so, you are supporting, you are supporting, you are giving an wavering support, like uh, one of you have said that uh, kuosha gari di kiretua, hata kama una pesa ya mafuta. And uh, last but not least, encourage them to start small, but think big. Encourage them to start small, but think big. The Bible says that do not despise a humble beginning. beginning. And humble beginning is everywhere. Humble beginning is everywhere. Anaweza kuwa hajui kupika. Ukimuwa hajui kupika. Hata ugali ya watu wawiri na mshinda. But that is a beginning. Mm -hmm. Encourage them to start that small. Yes. Teach them where you can. Yes. But of course with love. Mm -hmm. And show them of the possibility of becoming great. Yes. Last three, give positive criticism and feedback. Give positive criticism and feedback. This will help them to improve rather than lose heart, lose moral, and uh, uh, draw back and take the, 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 the arrows back to the quiver. So it will make them kimambia, oh, hey, hata iyo wezi renga. Iyo, iyo, hata iyo umerenga hapo. Atigari. You cannot. So, but you can tell them that uh, we can do it this way. Na, not the way you are doing it. Because to kifanya hiyo, kama tu itabidi to save pesa elfumbiri kila mwezi hili tunuwe proti ya milioni, hatu taweza kwa haraka. Suppose this 2000, <coughs> tunuwa kukuawiri watage, we continue investing and growing. Dimensionally, we shall grow. Suppose to kitafuta shamba ikamoja tulime. So they, they will feel that uh, your correction was not meant for evil, but it was positive. So because our time is up, I, I, I believe viewers back at home and uh, my fellow classmates, we are still learning together. We said that we shall not graduate. We shall continue learning and learning. So may the Lord bless you. We shall take uh, some time for discussion. And we shall see how to motivate your husband, how to motivate your wife. May the Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 
1st Corinthians 13 verse 13 and now abide faith hope love these three but the greatest of these is love love is the greatest of all feelings in today's discussion during the break yes we continue with the class and uh, we are so glad that we had one of our students been a very good teacher. I think you enjoyed, isn't it? Yes. yes. yes at the, when I sat at the back, I thought, wow, I think now I can, you know, there you say, I can sit now and let my students teach because now we are learning. And yes. so in one of us, one of these days you'll be called mm -hmm. to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are consistent, mm -hmm. not the ones who drop out and come in. Now, an archer homework, you bad me. But anyway, that is very good. And thank you so much, Pastor George. So, yes. we continue with the discussion. Yes. And now that we have learned all this, how to motivate, we verbalize it, we support, and all that. And then again, also, what he said about where you point out their strength, give them unwavering support, give positive criticism and feedback, and you keep pointing out what they are doing well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I uh, want us to just have a way of discussing as we help one another here and even at home. And when, you know, as we ask ourselves, sometimes as we say, we're all different, isn't it? Yes. There's how you'd want you to be motivated. Mm -hmm. And I want us to start with the husbands here. Mm -hmm. Husbands in the house, not in the house, in the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we have. So we want to ask you to tell us if you are doing something or you want, you know, the, when we talk about motivating one another, how do you, or how do you find it, uh, you know, it's appropriate to be, you know, to be motivated. Let me say, you can say, if my wife would do this, I'll feel motivated on what I'm doing. We can start with teacher George. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Personally, mm -hmm. uh, one of the ways that uh, motivate me as a husband. Yes is uh, if I'm taking or pursuing a certain vision. Uh -huh. And uh, my wife is there for me, uh, also making some moves uh -huh. towards betterment of that vision. For example, if I'm looking for a car, uh -huh. then uh, ana, ana, ana pia. Uh -huh. niambia, oh, I, I saw another one uh -huh. that, that, that I need ni mzuri. Uh -huh and uh, also putting her inputs like if i'm looking for a car mm -hmm. the car of the car oh, the okay. model of the mm -hmm. car and we exchange those ideas i feel so much motivated mm -hmm. uh knowing that this vision i'm not moving alone okay yes I, I still remember you giving an example that when you are preaching and you hear just one amen if it comes just even from her yes. you feel that you want to continue preaching you know you preach as you look at her and wonder you know, and she does well by giving you the amen. Yes. I hope that also... That is also so, supporting what I am doing. Oh, you are doing? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. We move on to Samuel at the back. Yes, Pastor Samuel? Yes. Uh, for me, uh, I really like to be motivated like, uh, okay, the way she does sometimes. Okay. You find out sometimes it's uh, fellowship. Or maybe, maybe like tomorrow it's fellowship. Mm -hmm. And I'm so busy at work. And sometimes maybe I've been caught up in so many things. Mm -hmm. And I find her calling me and telling me, you know, remember, today at a certain time we have a fellowship. Mm -hmm. I always feel so good because she's so conversant and she's so in in my own things. Mm -hmm. And also, if I have an idea of a business and I'm running my business in a certain way, mm -hmm. uh, she always joins in and tells me some more of ideas that I can add in my business. Okay. And I always feel so motivated and I okay. feel that she is part of my journey. Okay, so yes. indeed, supporting you or your vision, as we can see, uh, one of them, uh, that's good, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Abraham. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, my, my preference in motivation, mm -hmm. every time she tells me that you are a millionaire, mm -hmm. once in a while, ata kama nimekuja na... I did not meet the standard. Mm -hmm. and in, uh, she wanted uh, 10,000, come let her 2,000. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, my husband. Mm -hmm. You know, you are a millionaire. Wow. You will feed many people. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it makes me feel, wow. it builds my esteem. Mm -hmm. When I'm preaching, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, after the sermon tunakaa chini ananiambia let me tell you mm-hmm. when you preach you mm-hmm. preach like an international preacher wow. you are so anointed wait she she's uh, who she she is Judy she's not here <laughs> Jude, yeah she's Judy Judy Abraham I Judy pray Abraham that you are watching here yeah, yes. please and uh, do it more yeah yes so uh, uh-huh. i remember one time after after a very good service uh-huh. we sat down uh-huh. na kaniambia my husband uh-huh. i love you more Ten times mm-hmm. after seeing how you're flowing in anointing mm-hmm. you, i'm your number one fan kwa ministry mm-hmm. watu wengine wote wanaweza kukuacha lakini mimi nitakuwa na wewe mpaka mwisho mm-hmm. so every time she tells me this yeah, i feel motivated mm-hmm. i preach more mm-hmm. i pray more yes. na matters a self esteem mm-hmm. most of the time she loves telling me my husband wacha ku, kuongea kama unaogopa Mm-hmm. because you are handsome mm-hmm. you are equal to the task uko na kila kitu wenye mtu anataka mm-hmm. so go courageous mm-hmm. kama 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 ni mkutano unaenda mm-hmm. enda hapo ukijua you have god mm-hmm. and you have me mm-hmm. so it really motivates me mm-hmm. congratulations to her wow i thank you i think we can clap for that lady here yeah. now hear it and yeah. wish that you do more be motivated to do it more yeah. he appreciates and i believe everyone else here who has heard about it yes to you marim <laughs> gashohi <laughs> i i think um mine is across the board first and foremost the prayer is prayer i i don't re- remember a single vision a single engagement that i've had and shared that has not been uh, showered with uh, with lots of prayer and that uh, in itself is a way of motivating and uh, secondly of course the, like uh, verbalizing that like uh, <clears throat> if i just me mention the, the engagement that i'm in now and um when i felt that the lord was calling me into uh the space of leadership and governance and she tells me that uh, whatever the lord is uh, telling you i will support you mm-hmm. that that in itself becomes a very very great motivation mm-hmm. and uh, lastly maybe i would say that uh, even uh, financially contributing to one's the vision Uh, that, that that and uh, that, that in itself is a great motivator thank you wow. i've had it all <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much yes and uh, we go now to us uh and we start with the teacher <laughs> i'll be the last i'll be the last <laughs> now so that we we give her that time uh now we uh all of us here starting from magi tell us how we want you to be motivated and i pray he is listening is who mr joseph kai yeah mr joseph listen <laughs> and watch uh-huh. i i love it when he he comes home mm-hmm. especially when he comes early and at that moment i'm tired and i don't know what to make for supper mm-hmm. because he's a chef mm-hmm. he just directs do, do this by this and by that mm-hmm. and then when we come to cook is the one who prepares and sometimes he cooks mm-hmm. you know not once but he's been doing it mm-hmm. you know for years mm-hmm. and he tells me just sit down mm-hmm. and one day he told me like let me decorate the rice for you mm-hmm. so i was like you decorate r- rice how so he cooked it and the way he decorated it mm-hmm. you just want to eat it all so wow. <laughs> wow. you just feel honored mm-hmm. you just feel loved mm-hmm. by being there mm-hmm. you're told to sit down and just watch mm-hmm. how he does it wow oh, thank you mr joseph you hearing mm-hmm. that yes mm-hmm. grace at least george is in the house <laughs> <laughs> yes eh? uh, like now mm-hmm. niko na nyimbo niliandika kitambo sana mm-hmm. Nimekuwa nikifanya practice, nimekuwa nikijaribu kuziangalia. Mm-hmm. But amekuwa akiniambia. Mm-hmm. Usijali mm-hmm. kama ninakumbuka Dezia akiniambia mwaka huu mm-hmm. unaenda studio mm-hmm. na unaenda kurekod hizo nyimbo zako. Mm-hmm. Anani support kwa kile kitu chochote ambacho ninakifanya. Mm-hmm. Na huwa ninafurahia kila wakati nikipika. Mm-hmm. Ananiambia na umepika vizuri. Wow. umepika vizuri na yeah. huwa na pia ni nakumbuka another time nikisema 
ni yeye alinifundisha kupika. Sikuwa ninajua kupika vizuri. Sikuwa ninajua kupiga pasi. Napika mashakura. Eh, sikuwa sikuwa ninajua kupiga pasi. Siku hizi nikipiga pasi ananiambia you have done it well. Sometimes tunaweza ona vitu ndogo dogo tukaona kama kwamba they are not supposed to be motivated. But huwa ananiambia umefanya vizuri na inanifurahisha. Thank you Grace. He is hard it. Yes, Constance, where is he? Yeah. I think he's somewhere. Watch. Uh -huh. yeah, he's somewhere looking at me now. Mm -hmm. He's Steven. Ah, yeah, Steven. Watch <laughs> now. Uh -huh. yeah. Steven, I love you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that. Mm -hmm. And I love him because mm -hmm. I need trust. Mm -hmm. Wherever I go. Mm -hmm. You know me, I'm a caregiver, I'm a nurse, mm -hmm. and I'm a nurse, and I'm a nurse, and I'm a nurse, and I'm a nurse, because I know who I am. In mm -hmm. the kingdom of God. Na hiyo ndio inanifanyaga mhm mm uendelee. Na kufanyia watu therapy. Okay. Sitaki kusikia mtu analia mali kwa wow. sababu na I know niko na mtu ame ni backup mali. And he appreciate your work and support your vision. Yeah. Wow. Thank you Steven for doing that. Mm -hmm. Lea? Uh, I feel motivated. Tell me who it is. <laughs> Israel. Israel. <laughs> I uh, feel motivated when my weaknesses are whispered and my my strengths are magnified. Mm -hmm. uh, when my like personally I have a weakness of uh, I'm impatient. Mm -hmm. I don't have to wait for you. If we said eight, it's eight. Mm -hmm. So um, at times I get angry, I get annoyed when somebody comes eight, ten, and and he or she comes laughing as if nothing has happened. <laughs> so sometimes I get angry. I know. Mm -hmm. He has always taught me that patience is key because everyone and I need patience. Somebody has at one point be patient with mm. you. So once he magnifies my strengths, like my strengths mm. and whispers my weaknesses, mm -hmm. I'm able to work on my weaknesses because he always tells me you can always be better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I pray. I know he has heard. Yes. Jacinta. Samuel is in the class reason <laughs> so say it loudly okay mm -hmm. uh one thing that i appreciate so much mm -hmm. my husband gives me support mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. in the vision that i have for example even uh when i was setting up my job mm -hmm. he gave totally all he had his strength mm -hmm. finances everything and then uh he's my best marketer mm -hmm. he's number one in telling almost every person what my wife does mm -hmm. and if uh, you have an issue he'll be like give me a minute i'm calling I'm my calling wife you know her. so uh mm -hmm. he will, he's he's always there mm -hmm. to advertise what i do mm -hmm. not only even in work terms but mm -hmm. even in matters of what i can do, maybe sing or something mm -hmm. else he'll be there mm -hmm. and the other thing is like what he did just the other day juicy mm -hmm. he carried our son and mm -hmm. then he came in the kitchen and then he told my son tell mom we love you. You know, it is simple, wow. but it was so much mm -hmm. as it was so beautiful mm -hmm. to me, and I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Wow, thank you. Yes. Sami, thank you. Mm. Ah, yeah, we have our sister, Faith. Uh, no, Faith. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Faith. Faith, yes. He is Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Yes. Yes, Daniel, watching. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he's uh -huh. watching. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, one thing I love about him and, and keeps me going is that whenever I start a business, mm -hmm. he's ready to help me, to support yeah. me with finance. Yes. And, uh, and because we have children, mm -hmm. acts of services, he's mm -hmm. ready to go to pick mm -hmm. the children from the daycare, mm -hmm. to come, change mm -hmm. them the diapers, mm -hmm. cook mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. And there was a time I was selling shoes, mm -hmm. he would be the first one to buy. Yeah, so. <laughs> so thank you very much for being my greatest support. Yes. May God bless you. Wow, thank you, thank you. This is very good. Yes, my sister Fresia. Mi wangu anaitwa Philip. Philip. Na ile kitu kina ni motivate. Uh -huh. Ya kwamba akipatana na nguo mzuri ama kiatu mzuri, uh -huh. ananinulia, ananiletea. Wow. Kwa hivyo wow. najua nataka nikae nikiwa msmart. Wow. Na pia na mimi nikipatana na kitu kizuri uh -huh. ninamnunulia. Kwa hivyo ana mpaka najua size yako. Mm. Na anajua mpaka shape yako. Kabisa. Hey. Hiyo ni Let's clap for Philip. If you can see at this age, still know the shoe and the dress that fits. That's very good. Now you can see there is so much you can do to motivate one another. Yes. Maybe last and not least, because I know it's important that I tell you. 
Mm. I like when you tell me you can do it, girl. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I. So you had me being called doctor. If I came, I got married when I had one degree. There are others. Nivi you don't have any Girl, you can do it. And he keeps telling me you can do better. Mm. And so he says. Go and do it, girl. And I like the way you use the word girl. Even now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm told you can do it, girl. Yeah. So I start something that tells you can do it, girl. And that makes me, and he's one of, I mean, he's a coach. But the problem is that he does it on me. All those theories. <laughs> Readership coach, Sijui growth coach. No, he has gotten one person to coach. And I but I like it. When you make me better, I love you more. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> yes, thank you, viewers. Let's use the moment and be able to motivate one another as we continue uh, growing in marriage. God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, Stay tuned for the next lesson to learn how you can nurture your marriage to be better. To get the notes of today's lesson, visit www.mbcimedia.com stroke TMC. Catch the repeat of this episode on Tuesday at 10 p.m.